My name is Morten and this is my journey into photographing the stars and deep sky objects. In this video I'm going to follow up my video on adjusting the backlash on the worm drive carrier of the HEQ5 Pro mount. We are going to check for any misalignment and or backlash that is occurring inside the gearbox. Backlash between the worm drive and the worm gear and the stepper motor gear and the middle gear all will contribute to bad performance, bad tracking and bad guiding with your mount. So, the first thing that you need to do is to remove the cover on the gearbox. I've actually removed five of the six screws and I'm removing the last one right now. Inside of this gearbox you have the declination worm drive and worm gear, a middle connecting gear and the stepper motor gear. You also have the RA worm gear, middle gear and stepper motor gear. If you grab hold of the gear like this and move it back and forth you can identify any backlash. As you can see here the gap is substantial you can also hear it. For the RA, we also have some substantial backlash. So, concentrating on the motor and gears for the deck, you see that we have six Allen grub screws right here. Uh, with those three you can adjust the stepper motor and with these three you can adjust the position of the entire assembly against the worm drive gear. In order to do this adjustment you first will loosen all six of these screws uh, very gently. Then you will take a flat and you will push it towards the worm drive gear ever so slightly. And then check to see if you have backlash and also check that you don't have binding in between those two gears. When that is in the correct position you will tighten these three screws. And then you will adjust it once more to move the stepper motor gear against the middle transfer gear here. And when that is satisfactory you will tighten these three screws. And then the whole assembly will hopefully be tightened and you will not have any backlash. Then you just repeat that process for the RA gear. You loosen all six screws. You push this towards the gear so you are lined up and you don't have any backlash. You tighten uh, these three screws. You then move it again to adjust this gear towards the transfer gear. And then you tighten the last three screws. So keep in mind that the three screws with black washers, at least on my model, are the ones holding this plate. The three screws with metallic washers, these three, 
are the ones holding the stepper motor to this plate. So when you loosen the three grub screws here, here and here with black washers on mine, you can actually use the screwdriver to push the plate down to align this middle gear with the worm drive gear. And after you tighten these three, uh, you can't push the plate anymore, but then you actually push on these three screws holding the stepper motor in place. And that will align the stepper motor gear with the transfer gear in the middle. Make sure that you have just the right amount of lithium grease that is applied to the gears and uh, rotate them around to really work it in there before you attach the cover. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. And if you want to see me do a video on anything else related to astrophotography, please leave a comment. I will be testing this mount to see if I have improved the backlash and also if I have improved the tracking and guiding performance of the mount. I will probably get the Rowan belt mod for my HEQ5 Pro mount in the future because I can see there are still some critical elements of aligning all the gears inside this. 
If I do get the belt mod, I will return with a video on how to install that. Until the next video, I wish you all some clear skies.